Hi guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Uh, this is on algebraic fractions, a request from Lucy. I'm sure lots of you could uh, could benefit from this. Um, start off with guys, we're going to look at uh, just a, a normal fractional question. Um, for example, a half plus one third. I always like looking at these sort of things um, before I actually do the algebraic stuff. So how do I do a half plus a third? Well, you need to have a common denominator. We do that by multiplying the bottoms or the denominators together or finding a common denominator. For example, I'm going to have something over 6 plus something over 6. So obviously I'm times in the top and bottom by 3 the first time, top and bottom by 2 the second time to get 3 6 plus 2 6 which equals 5 6. So we're going to now apply that to an algebraic question. Instead of having 1 over 2, I'm going to have a over 2 plus a over 3. Now this is almost identical, okay, likewise I want to have a common denominator because it's an addition question. So I times the bottom by 3, the top by 3, which gives me 3a. The bottom by 2 and the top by 2, which gives me 2a, which gives me a final answer of 5a over 6. So you can see the process is pretty much identical. Um, Obviously, that's a much easier sort of question. You might have something that looks like this. A plus 2 over um, 3 plus A minus 2 over 4. Once again, the same principle applies. Because it's an addition question, the bottoms need to be the same. So in this case, I'm going to have a common denominator of 12. I'm going to times the bottom by 4 and the top by 4. Notice you must multiply everything on the top by the 4, bottom by a 3, and the whole top by a 3. That will give me 4a plus 8, and that will give me 3a minus 6. Now the, the denominators are the same, so it's simply just 4a plus 3a, which is 7a, and then 8 minus 6, which equals 2, all over 12. Occasionally you might be able to simplify these down. In this case, in order to simplify, I mean obviously 2 goes into 12 and 2 goes into 2. However, the 2 needs to go into all three terms because there's a plus separating them. Um, if it was like just um, just 2a over 12, where it's been separated by times, then yes, you could say it could go down to a over 6. But because there's this plus 7a plus 2, it must go into all three terms. In this case, it doesn't, so that's my final answer. Okay, so just some very basic addition questions there. Um, the same thing will apply for the subtraction questions, which I'll go through in just one moment. So, example two. So we might do a bit more challenge one this time. We're going to do 3a plus 3 over 5 minus... 2a, um, let's say, plus 6 over 4. Okay, so once again, it's a subtraction question or an addition question. In that case, we need to have a common denominator. So I'm going to put it over 20 this time. If you want, you can just put one common denominator. Um, it's up to you. So what do I times 5 by to make 20? We times it by 4. So we times the top by 4. Once again, because there are two terms on top, we multiply everything. Likewise, 4 times 5 is 20, so times everything by 5. Okay, so let's do this one. 3a times 4 is 12a, and 3 times 4 is 12. The next one is 2a times 5 is 10a, and 6 times 5 is 30. Now we need to simplify. Now this, obviously we are over a common denominator, which is nice. This one is slightly different to the last one, just only a slightly bit. So we've got 12a. Now this minus is working on both the 10a and it's working on the plus 30. So what's going to happen will be end up being minus 10a minus 30. So just be careful, that's the only difference there is. So we've got 12a minus 10a, which makes 2a. Then 12 minus 30, well that's going to be minus 18. Now, I did say last time that sometimes you can simplify if a number goes into all three terms. In this case, it does. 2 goes into 20 10 times. 2 goes into 2 once. 
2 goes into 18 9 times, so we're left with a minus 9 over 10. Likewise, what I'm just going to show you, you could have actually factorised this before you did that and said that 2 goes into, um, into both those terms, so it would be 8 minus 9 in brackets, all over 20. And that's why you can see, because this is separated between the times, the 2 times a minus 9, 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 20 10 times, and look at that answer, it's exactly the same. Okay, so that's a quick sort of rundown of our addition and our subtraction questions. Let's now move on to some uh, multiplication questions. So we might have something that looks like this. 3a plus 3 over 4 times 2a minus 3 over 6. Believe it or not, multiplication questions are much easier than addition. When I looked at the addition, first of all, I looked at the half plus a third. Okay, I'm going to look at a half times a third. Okay, can you remember how to multiply fractions? Hopefully, you would have said that you times the tops and then you times the bottoms. That's why multiplying fractions is really easy. So it simply be one six. So let's apply that to this particular question. We're going to be multiplying the tops together and we're going to be multiplying the bottoms together. Now, I'll put brackets around the top because sometimes that does help us. So remember, we're going to be doing 3a times 2a, which is 6a squared. 3a times negative 3, which is negative 9a. 3 times 2a, which is 6a. And 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. All over, 4 times 6 is 24. Once we've expanded, we want to simplify. We've got 6a squared. Now, minus 9a plus 6a is minus 3a, minus 9, all over 24. Now, once again, you might factorise, if you wish, the 3 out of the top, and then you could then cross the 3 and the 24 off and then um, simplify. Or you could recognise that 3 goes into 24 8 times, 3 goes into 6 2 times, 3 goes into 3 once, and 3 goes into 9 three times. That way, if I don't factorise, it needs to go into all three terms because they're being separated by a minus. Likewise, oh, well, my final answer, should I say, is 2a squared minus 1a minus 3 all over 8. And just as I showed you last time, if you wanted to, <coughs> to factorise that first, you could have taken the 3 out and said 3a squared minus a minus 3 all over 24. And because there's a bit of time between the three and the, and the brackets, you can just cross one out on top and then leave eight in the bottom. And look, it's the same answer as, as we had worked out before, except that should be a two. <laughs> Sorry about that. Three times two is six a squared. Okay, so that's a, a, a fairly basic multiplication question. Let's have a look at one um, division question. We'll do two a plus six over. Um, <clears throat> let's do let's do a plus three bit more challenging on the bottom. We're going to divide it by um, a plus 2 over, so we'll do 3a minus 1. Now, I have made it more challenging, obviously, because instead of having whole numbers in the bottom or integers in the bottom, we've now got um, an expression. But look, it's going to work exactly the same. The one thing I'm going to notice, I don't like dividing um, with fractions. So if you can remember, what we can do is simply turn that division sign to a multiplication sign but if we do that we need to invert or find the reciprocal of that second fraction so in other words we're going to flip it upside down if i do that i i can uh, i can simply do that just times them so this becomes a normal times question where i'm times in the tops and i'm times in the bottoms although it looks a bit more challenging of a question it actually isn't too bad 2a times 3a is 6a squared minus 2a times negative 1 is negative 2a 6 times 3 is 18a and 6 times negative 1 is negative 6 all over a times a is a squared a times 2 is 2a 3 times a is 3a and then 3 times 2 is 6 as last time, we can simplify, so I've got 6a squared, negative 2 plus 18 is positive 16a, and then minus 6, all over, and then I've got a squared plus 5a 
plus 6. Um, now I guess a lot of time we, we might not actually expand the bottom parts because sometimes if we factorize tops and bottoms, um, this is an added on step, you can sometimes simplify. So that expanding there, we probably didn't need to do. So I'm just going to show you what I mean by that. <clears throat> this obviously factorized will be what we started with, the a plus 3 in brackets and a plus 2. So as I said, a lot of time we don't probably expand that. This is why it might not make any difference. But I've got six goes into, um, well actually no, two goes into all of it. So we've got three a squared plus eight a minus um, three. Now at the moment, these things aren't going to go into it. We might be able to do a factorizing of these brackets here. I'm not sure. I'm going to use my product and sum method again. You might use a cross method. Um, three times negative three is negative nine. That middle sum is 8. So two numbers at times together to give negative 9, bad together to give 8. Well, we could use 9 minus 1. Yeah, that works, doesn't it? Okay, this is going to be a much harder question than I originally uh, thought. So let's factorize that now by splitting the terms. 3a squared plus 9a minus a and then minus 3. All I've done there is I've split that middle term. So now I can factorize 3a outside of a plus 3 minus 1 outside of a plus 3 so I get 3a minus 1 and then I get a plus 3 remembering we had a 2 outside the brackets and look at that that's actually gonna be a really nice question let me just try to move this screen up oh, it's not gonna help me okay and then the last of what we can do we can put that factorizing back in so 2 outside of 3a minus 1 outside of a plus 3 all over a plus 3 and a plus 2 that's actually worked it really nice I really didn't mean for that to happen folks but look at that the a plus 3 and the a plus 3 can cancel out remember it has to be the whole a plus 3 these three terms are being uh, separated by a multiplication sign so we can do that so we're just actually left with 2 outside of 3a minus 1 all over a plus 2 and that becomes a fully factorized question much probably more challenging than what I uh, first thought it might turn out to be um, but obviously you can see the process there where it was a divided by a question so all we did is rewrite the question by putting a times and flipping um, the uh, the or finding the reciprocal of the second fraction we then times the tops and times the bottoms remembering if you've got like a two terms on the bottom like this Often it's better to leave them um, straight in that form because what you can sometimes might be able to do, as I said, once you have expanded the uh, the top parts, you might be able to factorize them and then uh, a, little bit, a little bit nicer. And probably the, look, there's lots of different ways you could have done that. I'm starting to see shortcuts. You could have actually factorize the, the two out straight away and said a might a plus three, and then just cross really quickly. You know, that probably would have been a lot easier. So my apologies. Um, but look, that's the basic parts of our, um, of our of our tutorial, okay? So remembering, if we're doing things like a half plus a third, but obviously you've got algebraic terms on top and bottom, we're just simply finding a common denominator and figuring out what we need to times the bottom by and times the top by. If it's a, a multiplication fraction, like a half times a third, then we're simply times in the tops and times in the bottoms, okay? Which is, excuse me, in that case, 1 over 6 instead of uh, 3 plus 2 is 5 over 6. Okay, they're the basic terms, and I always write this stuff out because often it helps me to remember um, my sort of rules, I guess. And that would obviously be 1 half times 3 over 1, which is 3 over 2. But again, if you have one term on top, if it's just something like a over 2 plus um, a over 3, then obviously that becomes 3a over 6 plus 2a over 6. If you've got an a plus 1 on top, make sure when you times the bottom by 3, you times the whole top by 3. Okay. Look, I hope this has been sort of useful to you. I apologize about that last one. I said it would have been a lot easier ways of doing it. Um, but hopefully you got the idea of what to do. If there's any particular questions you want me to do, please let me know. Um, or if there's any other styles of questions that you'd like me to do, let me know as well. Okay, I hope this was useful. And uh, to Lucy, I'm sorry it took a few days. See ya.